What's up some fans around the world and welcome back to another video. So this will be part 3 of the MG95 build. So today we are going to fix some rust. So I talked a little bit about this last time and I said that I probably not going to show the sandblasting part. But I have changed my mind. I want you to see everything of this build. So you will join me and today we are going to sand down all the imperfections. Then we are going to sandblast it. Then we are going to put on the rust converter. And for the wheel wells we are going to paint them with this product right here. So it's carousel T03 and F40. So we're going to start with this one, jump over to this one. And for the body parts that needs a little touch up where there has been rust, we're going to use this rust converter and apply it with a brush. And after that, we are going to apply an epoxy primer and then the car will be ready to leave for the paint. So let's jump right into it. As I suspected this got dirty as F-U-C-K but it did the work maybe not the best in the world but if you saw before on this like fuel pipe this was just covered in rust now it's more clean so when we are going to apply this coating that I have started with a little bit this is the thin one that we are going to apply first this will just go into all of those spots where you can't really reach. So I think this will be really nice. And yeah, blasting sand everywhere. So I just took some compressed air and just blew off the car so it got a little bit clean. 
so we could start with the with the rust converter but as you can see the finish of the blasting got pretty good I would say so now I'm gonna take this one and go over all of the sanded and blasted spots and eventually they will turn like dark to an oxide and then we will apply an epoxy primer on top of that So this is the day after and all of the parts or all the areas where I have treated with the rust converter has turned to a like oxidization where it's turning black and in the wheel wells I blasted and now I have treated with the, the rust treatment so it turned out really nice. These pipes were like super rusty, now they look like fresh again. And most of the rust I got rid of and now it's nicely painted and protected for some years to come. So I did the same on the other side. So what we are going to do now, I have mixed up some epoxy primer. So this we will apply in two coats then the car is like ready to send off to paint. fixed spots has now got two coats of the epoxy primer which will give it a really nice rust protection for the future and of course now further work will be carried out by the painter so a lot of this will be like sanded down all of the car will be primed again and so on and so on so this will be really nice I think so next up is to prepare the brand new bumper that I got and all of the brand new parts sub-original I managed to find 
all of the parts brand new except this little one right here which I had to buy a used one but that's just the road we are heading with these cars they are like true enthusiast car now on so my old bumper is leaving for Finland because e even the stock like Victor and Linear bumpers are missing right now so we really have to take care of what we are got so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoy the content and I hope you enjoy that I bring you on this journey to get this car more perfected than it was before of course these stages that I have done in this video right now is not the funniest of the whole build like taking care of rust is a big issue and uh, it's really nice when you have done it it, it feels so go good in the heart and the soul to to have carried out that work and probably it won't be an issue for this car for many years to come and uh, that is a really good thing so now I'm going to prepare some of the other stuff that's not really necessary to, to show on camera. Preparing an aero front bumper since there is no new ones it won't be necessary to show it. But otherwise I will link to an older video where I have done the same thing. Uh, and if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!